we can also look at multivariable optimization. And while our process for optimizing multivariable functions manually was quite a bit different than the process we used for single variable functions, our approach here is going to be very similar. In example six, we're told that the total labor cost for manufacturing a camera can be approximated by this function L of XY, where X is the number of hours required by a skilled craftsperson, Y is the number of hours required by a semi-skilled person. We want to find the values of X and Y that minimize the labor cost, and then find that minimum labor cost. We can also look at optimizing multivariable functions. While our process for doing this manually was quite a bit different than our process for optimizing single variable functions, the approach we use in Wolfram Alpha will be quite similar. In example six, we're given a function that tells us the total labor cost for manufacturing a camera, where X is the number of hours required by a skilled craftsperson, and Y is the number of hours required by a semi-skilled person. We want to find the values for X and Y that minimize our labor cost, and then we want to find that minimum labor cost. So in Wolfram Alpha, we would want to optimize our given function So we want to optimize that function L of XY and then interpret our results. So it makes sense that we would find no global maximum here because what we're looking to do is actually minimize this function. So we can look at our global minimum which occurs at XY equals 910 and then we get a function value of 109 over 2. Or if we click approximate form we can get the approximate form there of 54.5. This tells us that we'll have our minimum occurring at L of 9 comma 10 equal to 54.5. And if we wanted to write that in context, we would say that the minimum labor cost of $54.50 is attained. when a skilled craftsperson works for nine hours so our value for X and a semi-skilled person works for 10 hours. So again, we optimize that multivariable function and then interpret those results. In example seven, we have a company that produces two types of solar panels per year, X thousand of type A and Y thousand of type B. The revenue and cost equations are provided below. What we want to do is determine how many of each type of solar panel should be produced per year to maximize profit. So the first thing we would need to do is generate our profit function, which would, as usual, be our revenue function minus our cost function. And then we would want to turn to Wolfram Alpha to optimize that resulting function. In this case, our result would be P of 6, 7 equals 360. But then in interpreting this, X and Y are both in thousands, and revenue and cost are provided by these given functions in millions. So what this would mean is that our maximum profit of 360, which in millions would be 360 million, so that maximum profit is attained by selling 6,000 of type A. So that's our resulting value for X in thousands. And 7,000 of type B.
So even though those are multivariable functions, they're very similar to what we did with single variable functions in terms of using Wolfram Alpha. Things will change just a little bit if we looked at if we look at optimizing multivariable functions with constraints. So what that means is, in addition to simply optimizing a function, we have to look at some constraint or some additional information being applied that constrains our results. So in example eight, we have a company that produces two models of HDTVs. Uh, we have a cost function below, and it's necessary because of shipping considerations that x plus y equals 90. So meaning the total number of television sets produced can't exceed 90 or has to be exactly 90. How many of each type should we manufacture in order to minimize our cost? And then we want to know what's that minimum cost. So in this case, what we're looking to do is to optimize our given cost function, c of x, y. And what we'll be looking to do is minimize that. with this given restraint or such that x plus y, so the total number of TVs produced of each type has to equal 90. So in Wolfram Alpha, we'll start off similarly as we would have in the last two examples. We want to optimize 12x squared plus 24y squared such that x plus y is equal to 90. So we're just adding this additional statement or this additional constraint, and I'm going to correct my typo there. So we're going to be finding extrema for this given function with a specific domain, or in this case that constraint, x plus y equals 90. No maximum is obtained, but we're looking for a minimum, which would occur at x equals 60, y equals 30 with a function value at 64,800. So what we have is our optimized function value occurring at 60 comma 30. And that optimized function value is 64,800, which means that our minimum cost of $64,800 is achieved when 60 Model A TVs and 30 Model B TVs are produced and sold. So a problem very similar to what we looked at in the previous two examples, except that again we had this constraint that we have to produce exactly 90 televisions. In example 9, we're given a Cobb-Douglas production, production function for a particular product, where x is the number of units of labor, y is the number of units of capital required to produce n units of the product. Each unit of labor costs $80, and each unit of capital costs $120. We have $400,000 budgeted for production of the product. We want to determine the amount that should be allocated to maximize production. So again, in this case, we want to optimize that given function, 80x to the 0 0.7, y to the 0 0.3. Subject to, in this case, we need to define this constraint equation. It's not explicitly stated for us. But what we know is that we have a total of $400,000 to spend. And we're going to spend that $400,000 by spending $80 per unit of labor and $120 per unit of capital, giving us a constraint equation of 80x plus 120y would equal our 400000 So turning back to Wolfram Alpha, we could optimize that function, and we would get a result of n of 3,500, 1,000 equal to 192,282, which would tell us that production is maximized.
when we use 3,500 units of labor. and 1,000 units of capital. And that optimized, um, optimized production level would be 192,282 units.